Magicians! I hope you're all having a great holiday. For this video, I'm going to be opening up two of the Mystery Fool surprise sets from Briar on the Stablemate scale, and these are two of the sets from 2018. So I picked my two favorite out of the three. So we've got this one, looks like we've got a Pinto Mare and a Dapple Gray Stallion. And then in this one, we've got a Bay Mare and a Blue Roan Stallion. But we can't really see them because they're trapped behind this plastic. So let's get them out, take a look, and see what the Mystery Fool looks like. Okay, those twist ties were a struggle, but we got the first family out, and let's take a look at the mare. Uh, she's a really pretty solid bay color, no white markings of any kind, and Briar did this thing that I really love, where they made the mane and tail a little bit shinier than the body, so it looks like she's got a really glossy mane and tail, and I, I really just love the way it looks, and they did a little bit on the feathering as well, and I think it just makes the model look so clean and professional, it's just really satisfying to look at, so I'm really glad they did that. And you can see that the attention to detail also carried over onto the stallion. He is on the new Rivet Mustang mold, which is one of my favorites because it's just so dynamic. Like the muscle detail is amazing and the way that the horse is just kind of lunging forward is really just cool to look at. This is one of the most photogenic molds I know. Um, and also I love his face. Look at his face. It's so intense. It's so intense. And the white marking, just one little star and four socks but it really just looks so nice. Um, so those are our two parents and the foal, da 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 da, here he is. Oh, he's so cute. Um, so they use the lying foal mold, which is really adorable. And let's see, two white markings on the rear hooves, nothing on the face, so he got that from mom. And like you might expect, he's a bay roan. So bay mother, roan father, bay roan foal, kind of makes sense, although it's a really, really pale roan, a lot paler than dad. Um, so it's almost white on the back here, and it has a really cool like snow scattered effect. I have to say I love the way Briar paints Rones, and I wish I could get this effect at home, but I don't have an airbrush, so I just do my best. Um, but it lo really looks good when they do it professionally, and with the with the darkening on the face and the hooves, it just comes out so pretty. So I really, really love this full. Okay, now let's take a look at the next family. So we'll move these three over here, and we'll attack this package next. Okay, so we finally got him out of the package, and this is what the mare looks like. She is a really pale copper chestnut pinto, and I would like to say she's palomino, but her mane is dark, so she's gotta be some kind of chestnut, but it's just the palest of coppers, and when I say copper, I mean it, because I think Briar actually used metallic paint, or paint with a slightly pearlescent finish to it. I'm not even sure if the camera can pick it up, but as, at least in my desk light, she's got kind of a pearly sheen to her, and it's really pretty. It brings out all the gold in her coat, and it's just super nice. Um, I've mentioned in multiple previous videos that I adore pinto horses, so I'm absolutely in love with her, especially because her markings are super dark and rich up here, especially on her face. Um, and she's got really nice shading on her nose. Looks like she's got a little bit of a crooked stripe going on two white stockings, and then her rear end is pretty much completely white. Plus, she's got a really cool, like, splash over her shoulders. Um, kind of like blood markings, but the opposite, because they're white. And it gets into her mane a little bit, too, so it's just adorable. I really love this color. And I actually don't have a single copper chestnut pinto, so I'm really excited to add her to my collection. And she's on one of my favorite molds, the Running Arabian Mare, so yeah, she's definitely a win. Okay, now let's take a look at the stallion. He is adorable. He's on the Vallegro mold, which came out, I think, last year when they did the portrait stablemate of Vallegro. Um, and one thing that I have mentioned about this mold before is that it's kind of small. Like, even on a stablemate scale, next to other horses on the same scale, he looks a little bit petite, almost like a pony, but not quite. Just a little bit smaller, even next to the mare, like his head is smaller. Um, but it's honestly so cute because he's just, just tiny. Um, and the muscle detail is amazing on this mold. Like it's so defined and, and crisp. 
and it just it'll take any color and just look amazing and that's what happened here we've got a flea bitten gray which is honestly one of the coolest colors you can have on a horse I just think it's so handsome and he's got see he's got a dark mane and tail if you look really closely it's actually dark brown not black so that it lends a little bit of extra dimension to the color when they don't use solid black um, got dark points, two white half stockings, I guess, in the back. They're blended out. You can't really tell how long they are. And he's got a little star on his face. And I love the face on this mold. It's got a really narrow, elegant head shape and then these really expressive, large eyes. I just think it's such an intelligent looking mold. I really like it. So I'm glad that they decided to release this mold as a regular run, not just as a portrait model since I just think it has so much potential and it really does look good in every color. Um, so these two look really nice next to each other. Now let's see what the full looks like. Aha, here he is. Oh, he's so cute. Um, so again, we've got another full on the prancing full mold. Um, and it looks like he's just a solid piebald pinto. So just solid black and white. He's got a little stripe on his face. Uh, four white hooves. Oh, this is interesting. Look at that. The tip of his tail is black. I don't think I've ever seen that before. That's really cute. I like it. Um, I just don't know where this color came from since we've got a chestnut pinto mom, so we can see where the pinto came from, but where'd the black come from? Maybe his markings will turn lighter as he gets older and he'll end up being a flea bitten gray pinto. Now that would be interesting. And yeah, that is our second family. I'm gonna try to get up one more video of you guys before break. I'm not sure how much time I'm going to have to film and compile everything before I have to go back to school, but I would really like to show you guys the process of customizing a larger model, and that is exactly what my next project is going to be, but I still have some stuff to finish up, so it might be a little while before you get that video, but it's definitely on its way, and I will see you then. Bye!